Okay guys, 2008 Kia Sportage with a suspected faulty fuel pump. That's what my friend Pete told me. 2008 Kia, 200,000 miles. It's a no start, I'll just let you hear it. That, that doesn't sound, did you hear the and then the fast cranking? That sounds like a timing belt. Let's see what codes we have. This is not gonna be a fuel pump. The only codes I, I'm showing are power steering pressure sensor abnormal and a oxygen sensor one, two heater circuit fault. That's interesting. I mean, just the way that that sounded, right? That sounded not good. Let's see what kind of cam crank data we have. All right, so I don't really have much uh, as far as cam crank stuff. So I don't know if this is gonna help us. It just sounds funny, doesn't it? It's like I'm riding a horse or something. Mm -hmm. Galloping. Yeah, so I have like RPM signals, but I don't have any cam rise or cam fall signals. I, it doesn't sound right to me. Let me see if we can see uh, movement of the cams. Of course, we got a cover in the way. Can't see nothing there. So we have some covers we can take off. Yeah, I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop a cover off. That's gonna be our starting point. I'll get some fuel source too. I just. I just need a, a beer sitting on top and then play like White Snake and then, you know, like Frank the Tank on uh, Old School. <laughs> and, and then, you know, talk about going to Bed Bath and Beyond and, you know, Home Depot uh, if we have enough time. Well, um, actually, pretty nice little Saturday. We're, uh, we're going to go to Home Depot. Yeah, buy some wallpaper, maybe get some flooring. Stuff like that, maybe Bed Bath and Beyond, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Yeah. So, yeah, um, we actually have done cam crank correlations on a similar model years ago that was for Matt Scundridge, remember? He, he wanted us to do that, end up, it was one that needed a fuel pump. We can do that, but when you have covers like this that are really easy to get to and take off, like, um, I would much rather do this than get a wiring diagram dig out the ECM, try to find locations of cam and crank. Uh, I mentioned ECM because of a lot of times that's easier to do there than it is on the car, especially when you're out here in the parking lot. Getting the crank sensor is not always easy. This is just, this is the way to go for us right now. Based on sound alone. That, that doesn't sound, did you hear the that little starter like stopping where you hear that womp is suggesting incorrect ignition timing and then the gallop that it had when it's when it's cranking was also concerning so that's that's what we're doing i just want to know if that's here just tell me i want you to hold that out and tell me if that is spinning right. tell me if that's spinning if oh no it's not it's broken it's broken. Here's your belt. Oh. <laughs> it's off. Hold on. So that's probably Let me get my light. So, it's strange that it didn't set fault codes for cam crank. I think it would, but I don't care why this model is not. Maybe with enough cranking it would eventually set the cam crank correlation code. But that makes sense and then while on scan data we weren't seeing the cam rise and fall edges counting. We saw RPM because there was still a crank signal, but without cam signals, without the camshaft spinning, we weren't seeing those, that data parameter that said rise and fall. That's gonna fall on the ground. I wonder if I can magnetize the ratchet or the socket. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> is there another one? There is, that's like the whole cover. Okay, so I can't give you any better shot than this. Here's the belt. It is, wait, there, how's that? How's that for your shot? Good enough? <laughs> We're done, we're done. Well, 
hoped you learned something. <laughs> this might just be a short. Don't ignore. At this point. No, it's fine. <laughs> Don't ignore um, funny sounding cranking engines. Uh, that galloping sound suggested timing for sure. It's possible that you know valves are closed on three of the cylinders, and that's why we have some compression, and the other ones were just not at all. Be an interesting looking relative compression waveform. We could do that real quick. I could just throw an amp clamp on the battery and crank it just to let you guys see it. Nah, broken belt. We're done. Do I have anything else to say? Possible interference engine. I'm not sure without research, right? This might have bent valves. Um, is the 08 Kia with 27 a valve bender or not? I'm sure we'll hear in the comments. Um, I don't know offhand and I don't really care. It's not my problem. So yeah, we're done. I hope you guys like that. We'll see you next time.